then give me no time. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, that's good. Let's see. Woo! Can you can we see you? I can see me. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's go. Okay. There we go. Welcome. So hello everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome, welcome. Got Join in here. We'll be getting started soon. And we are late, so sorry. Welcome, Robert. Welcome, Woodstar. Hey, tell us where you are watching from. Hey, Ladybug, Perry Clark, Claudia. Let us know where you're watching from. Hey, Janet. Hey, Shirley. Hey, Kay. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Tracy. Terry. Beauty, Bozog, Diane, Seattle in the house, Lulu, Janet, hey, Fletch, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am sweating, you guys. Sorry we are so late. So many different things have been happening. Will, Cody, Florida. All right, so let us know where you're watching from. Atlanta's in the house. Meg, Tara, Cleon, Danny, Love, come on in, come on in. Um, our special guest is running late. We have a special guest. We were supposed to start at one, and I am such a tommy person, so you know it's the devil attacking. It's the devil. Oh, devil and probably lack of prep preparation. Um, Come on in. Hey. Hey, Edo. Is it Edo? Edo? Sorry if I miss massacring these names. Cam and welcome. Lovely Colorado is in the house. I'm telling you, that's where we're going to retire. We retiring in Colorado. Hey, Toledo. Welcome. Come on in. So let me know if you are new here. Hey, Miami. If you are not new here, you know that we talk about the eight laws of health. Them natural doctors, them natural doctors. Who is a student? New, we got a newbie. Okay, I need my old students. Old students, who can tell me? Just give me one or two. Give me all eight, right? The eight laws of health, the eight natural doctors. Welcome, Family Cooking Channel. You are new here, welcome. You're new. a lot of newbies. A lot of newbies. New from Park, Florida. All right, well, hey, I guess I'm gonna have to introduce myself. My name is Veggie Vita. This is my husband, Jude. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Ain't he fine? Ain't he fine? He fine. It's because that new start program, he fine. That new start program. So my name is Veggie Vita. I am a, basically, I'm a retired, I would say I'm a retired um, elementary teacher termed lifestyle coach teaching you how to heal teaching you about health laws straight from the bible this is bible based so there are eight of them you're gonna go over the eight that's right eight laws what so we many new so many new people thank you gloria thank you yeah so what we call the eight laws of health for those who have joined and have been on before you probably know these but i'll go over them quickly yes it's the new start acronym right mm -hmm. new start n is for nutrition e is for exercise w is for water s is for sunshine t is for temperance a is for air r is for rest and the last t is for trust and divine power all right, so you know I said I'm a teacher. I hope you took those notes because that's your life. That is your health. That are Those are the eight natural doctors of health. Somebody said, can I do it without the Bible? Do it without the Bible when it comes from the Bible. I don't know how you would do that. I don't know how you would do it without the Bible when it comes straight from the Bible, straight from the book of Genesis, you guys. Nutrition, ideal nutrition, Genesis 129. What's it, what's it talk about? Yes, uh, the uh, things, the foods we should eat. Cornell notes. <laughs> foods we should eat, right? Yes, yes, yes. Foods we should eat. The ideal diet, Genesis 129. You go read that. You can even Google that. Come on, like, share, follow, like, share, follow. Come on, tap the screen. Give me some hearts. 
okay? This is not a fad diet. This is a lifestyle change. Right. This right. is about a lifestyle. And we will say we have been practicing this lifestyle for 30... Just say 30 plus years, I would say. Yeah, definitely for him. Me, probably more like 20, about 20, 25, yes. So we know it works. We are both prescription free. We uh, are trying our best because we over half a century now, you guys. We are over half a century years old and we are trying our best not to get on these prescription meds. And, and really, you don't have to if you follow this plan. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a it's lifestyle, right? And so a lot of the lifestyle diseases and, and, and ailments that people suffer with, they can be reversed with this simple, yes. Yes. simple change. These simple principles. These simple yeah. principles. Thank you so much for the roses. Share, like. We love it. We love the gifts. We love the roses. Thank you so much. Follow us because we are your one-stop shop for all your health needs. Nutrition exercise, water, sunlight, temperance, air, and the most important, because this is the stress part. This is the stress part. Trust in divine power. You got to let go and let God. You just got to do it. Stress is such a big issue in our world today. Yeah, it is. And, and stress will cause the, all the other health principles to kind of fall too. If you're stressing out, mm -hmm. uh, then all the others will will maybe not work for you. Yeah, yeah. So you have to, uh, it's a holistic program. It's a holistic so program. You, you definitely want to have that trust. Okay, get your notes. I'm about to give you a lot of scripture on this. You're going to help me, babe. You're going to help me. All right, let's start at the beginning. Like, share, follow. Like, share, follow. The beginning, Genesis 129. Genesis 318, talking about the herbs of, herbs of the nation, right? The herbs. Revelation talks about, Revelation 3, I can't remember. You do your homework. Revelation talks about herbs being the the leaves, the trees, the leaves for the healing, healing of, of the, the nations. nations. Yes. So you got your herbs. Um, the diet of Genesis one twenty nine is fruits, nuts, grains, whole seeds. Right. And then we're talking about exercise, which I'm still sweating because I just I just rebounded and I just did a bike ride. Right. And then we're talking about water. Half your body weight in water every day. Okay, I'm breaking this down for you. Um, if you read the first three chapters in Genesis, you will see all of these health principles. But you know you need water even if you didn't read the Bible. Right. And on one you know of the previous programs, we outlined all those scriptures. So each one of these principles, we gave you a Bible text. So maybe right. we'll have to do that a little bit later or right. another program. Yes. And if you need more information, I'm about to plug my course in because I told you I'm a teacher. I have created... A course that's walking you step by step through these eight natural doctors these eight laws of health okay and we have recipe ebooks included we're talking about what kind of water you should be drinking we are testing water we're talking about exercise the best type of exercises and the easiest best type of exercise is walking because everybody can walk right I like to rebound I like hit because it just it just gets me going right um we're, we talked about the sunlight and the d3 that's you needed if you many many um diseases i would say especially like ms the precursor is not getting that sunlight and that vitamin d3 you need it and if you're melanin if you got some if you got melanin you need more 20 to 30 minutes of sun i know you hear opposite like oh don't go in the sun and wear all this sunblock and sunscreen Listen, you better get that D3. Yes. Take supplements, something, right? Like, share, follow, like, share, follow. Hey, Ty. Oh, thank you. Hey, you're welcome. You're welcome. So those are the eight laws of health. I'm trying to wait for Eli to get here. He's having a little bit of trouble. Um, Just things are happening. It's the devil. You know how that is. So he should, he should be walking in soon because we're going to talk about fasting. We want to talk about detox and his whole... Was it a cleanse? thirty? Was it a twenty-eight day? He did. He did like a twenty-eight thirty. You go into detail. Thirty once days he gets here. of cleansing and detox. So we want to we want to know how he did with that. I did a week of raw, raw vegan, and about three days of that master cleanse. I love the master cleanse. It's just easy. Um, 
and I just like it. Now, uh, now tell everyone what that does for you when you do the, uh, say you went raw for a few days. Hold on, we got a question. The R and the T, rest. rest. People not sleeping. We need to get that rest in. Between the hours of 10 and 3, right? And we have two T's because it's new start. So the first T was temperance. Who do I need to get into that? Temperance. Okay, we need to not be eating and consuming some things, right? We need to not participate in some things that that's destroying our health. You want to tell them some because you not you be nice. Well, temperance uh, that's nice just a, a, a fancy word for moderation, right? But we want to be moderate in those things that are good for us, and we yes. also but we still at the same time want to eliminate those foods and drinks and those things that are not good for us, good for our bodies. And we talked about a lot of those, what those are. So those that are not good for us, we want to eliminate completely. Those that are good for us, for us, we want to use and eat, drink in moderation. All right, Nurse Betty, we have the scriptures for you. Let's start with, I said, Genesis 1, 29, Genesis 3, 18, 3 John 2, Romans, am I going too fast? 3 John 2, Romans 12, 1 and 2. Yeah, 1 Corinthians 6, verses 19 and 20. Plenty in the Psalms as 1 well. Corinthians 10, verse 31. Just trying to go off the top of my head here. Revelations. I should have bought my Bible here. Revelations 22. Speaking of, I, I didn't bring my Bible, but I want to I pray with y'all because somebody is sick and they need healing. We are big believers in the power of prayer for healing. We are big believers in God healing you. But at the same time, he has outlined these health principles for us in the word. So, you know, there are consequences, cause and effect. If you do this, then he'll do this. So once we start getting in line with his health principles, we'll heal. Hypertension, insulin resistance, cancer, all those disease, lifestyle diseases, you will heal right that's true you want to pray for that's the people correct uh let's pray heavenly father we thank you for this day beautiful day and we thank you father for the health principles you have given us in your word where if we live by them and apply them uh we can be assured of, of excellent health and so help us now as we go on our journey is this new lifestyle program and keep us uh, firm and keep us consistent as we move along, as we trust in you and trust in your word. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. All right. Let's do the, uh, let's, let me show you what I was drinking for like a week. And my daughter did this too. She and her friend did this for a week and they look amazing. They feel great. It was um, not as bad, not as hard as she thought it was. And this it's really something that you got to try for yourself, right? So I'm going to take a lemon. You gotta get that good grade B maple syrup. Okay, here are my ingredients. Back up a little bit. Um, what else we put in here? Oh, that the cayenne, cayenne pepper. pepper. The cayenne pepper, which just it just cleans out all the mucus. It cleans out all the mucus. And this is not regular. This is that frontier, which is uh has a ninety thousand heat unit. You guys, ninety thousand heat unit. All right, let's do this because this is also, I would say this is just great to drink, right? If you don't feel right. like drinking water, don't do the store-bought lemonade. Make your own. This is so delicious. And this has minerals, right? And you might have said already the lemon. What is the lemon good for? Lemon is nature's bleach. Lemon right. is nature's right. bleach to me. And I tell you, for my eyesight, not this is this not for the weak. This is for the strong. I love to drop, he does it for me a lot of times because it's, it, it burns. He drops a drop of lemon juice in my eyes probably three to three times a month, three times a month just to keep my eyes. And my eye doctor says my eyes, my vision is great. Now, I'm not saying it improves your vision. That's not what I'm saying. I just use it as a preventative for cataracts and stuff like that because my great grandmother had that so it works and it's a cleanser right it's not only cleanser. for your eyes but your entire body it's a cleanser all right i'm gonna get my knife and go and talk to people so yeah lemons are very very good very powerful uh fruit uh we mentioned the cayenne cayenne helps to improve blood flow 
Uh, so Ooh, cayenne yes. is a really good when it comes to if you're having issues with with blood. I, I think and, your pressure too. Uh, blood pressure is good for that. So it just mm -hmm. helps the blood to, to move more efficiently throughout the body. Yes. So cayenne is very good for that. Right. And you may think that um, lemons are acidic, but they're not. Lemons are very alkaline. So we want to have an alkaline environment in our bodies. You, you also can use sugar. Oh, I can't use sugar. Sugar, white sugar. Uh-uh. That's anything white, y'all. It ain't right when it comes to food. It's, it's really not. The white sugar is processed. It's poison. There are no minerals. Mm -mm, no, we're not doing white sugar. You can do an alternative to this maple syrup is, let me show you. Let me show you. Read the comments if you can. You need, you need you guys. Yeah, so there's there's some healthy alternatives to um, uh, sugar. to sugar, and so like we said, the maple syrup is one. We're gonna get a couple of others here. Cane sugar. Mm, uh, well, uh, I mean, if that's all you got, that's what you got. If that's what you got, that's what you got. But this right here, <laughs> anything right ain't white. I'm just saying, if with food for sure, this black strap molasses. You talking about loaded with minerals, especially if you are anemic and you have uh, some some iron, low iron problems. This right here, this right here. Right. So that's an alternative. Okay. Did you mentioned honey too. As I've well. never done honey, but I'm, I'm sure you can. I listen. I just do the re the recipe because I know that works. Right. All right. So let's go ahead on and I'm gonna add this lemon juice. This is so delicious, y'all. I tell you what else I will put in here. You want to take it up a notch? Ginger. Fresh ginger. I'm all about whatever's going to heal me. I'm putting about that much. I don't know. I want to taste good. Because remember, when you're doing the master cleanse, this is your food. This is your food. So you, you, you're not eating anything. It's everything. It's everything. People used to call it the, I think, the Beyonce cleanse or something like that. Hey, that's why she was glowing. But anyway. This, this has been around long before her, though. <laughs> yeah, it has. It has. All right, this is a little bit of that, about an eighth of a teaspoon of that cayenne. We need to do a show just on cayenne pepper, the benefits of cayenne pepper. Right. I cut myself so deep, I thought I lost the tip of my finger. And I went and stuck my finger in that cayenne pepper. And let me tell you, you would think it would burn. It didn't, but it stopped. It stopped that bleeding. It clotted it and all good. All good. Is you too vegan? We too is plant-based. I'm not vegan. I say that because I do like honey. We do love honey and I like to wear leather. So no, I'm not, I'm not vegan, but I'm plant-based. Let me scoot on over here. I'm getting some filter water. I'm just reading the comments here. Okay. Let me see. All right, let me just, I have this contraption here. I'm gonna add a little, I'm gonna add a little ginger because I just, I want to. That's why, because I want to. I want to add some. And I just take, I just take my, uh, Garlic press. We're talking about what's up, Pop. David Jones, what you talking about what's up, Pops? This man probably could outrun you because he does the New Star program. <laughs> <laughs> he does the New Star program. He could probably outrun you. Hey, Marshall. Is that... Hey! All right. That's one of my classmates' dad. He on here. Okay to take cayenne pepper daily. I don't. Are you 61? How you feel? How you feel at 61? That's the question. Can you run? Can you jump? Can you skip and hop? All right, I like this thing. Let me see. Let's see. Mmm. It's so good. It's so good. I love it. Right, cleansing is not about losing weight. That's a benefit for some people, but for some, for some people it's not. If you're underweight, you really don't want to be losing a lot of weight. But this cleanse is really, really, really good. 
Now, let me tell you what else goes along with this. The enema. The enema or the salt water flush. You got to clean out, the, you got to clean your intestines. You have to do that, right? However you want to do it. There's a tea that some people drink. I had a question. What's in the mix? Um, cayenne, water, lemon, maple syrup. Say, Janet, what you mean say what? What you talking? Janet, look at Eli. Late. He on that CP time. And then he done brought Navy. Oh, Lord, this boy. Janet, you got to clean them. By, you got to clean out. You got to do it. I should go get, I should show you. TMI. Well, <clears throat> that may have to be another program. <laughs> hey, it, it's all a part of the cleansing. Enema, yes. Listen. If you don't want to do the enema, this tea, this ballerina tea, don't go to work with this now because you're going to have to stay close to the toilet. Don't go to work. But cleansing is all about what you put in, right? Getting those toxins out and putting the nutrients in. That's what it's about. Getting the toxins out, putting the nutrients in. Yes, an enema. And you can go to like a spa. Janet, just go to a spa and let them do it. Pay a hundred dollars and let them do it. What you, Linda, what you talking about? No. That tea will clean you out. I prefer to make my bathroom a spa and do the enema for free. Thank you for the roses. Thank you so much. Like, share, follow, like, share, follow. Let's get these numbers up. Eli's here. He made it. He made it. What am I drinking for nutrition? Uh-uh. We cleansing right now. I, don't, I, I want to get the toxins out right now. Now, if you wanted to add like some green uh, uh, Corella, right? Chlorophyll, you could do that. You could do that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You afraid of what's going to come out? Don't look. Don't look at the worms and the parasites and all that stuff that need. You read this stay in your body though? I do do my own enema. For 20 plus years, I've been doing my own enema. My, my aunt just came into town. That's another reason why we're late. She's a, she's a dietitian, nutritionist, and she taught me so much. Full recipe. A whole, a, get your quart jar. Get your quart. A whole lemon juiced. A whole lemon juiced, right? Two tablespoons of maple syrup. Or two tablespoons of blackstrap molasses. If you, uh, if you insulin resistance and you diabetic, you might want to go with this. All right, it's not as sweet. And I put an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, the ninety thousand heat unit that you get from the health food store, not Zatarans. And then um, fill it, fill a jar up with water. That's it. Simple as that. Simple as that. I don't do apple cider vinegar because vinegar to me is an acid. It's acidic. This lemon, however, is alkaline. So I'm not, I don't want, listen, I'm at a point I don't want arthritis. I don't want any of those in a, in a, a body that's acidic brings on disease. Acidic bodies, dairy, meat. Now I know it's this big old, big old thing about apple cider vinegar and all that stuff. These fads, I, I just stick with what I know. I just stick with what I know. The lemon, I know comes from the tree. It's not processed. What do they do to make apple cider vinegar? Doesn't it have to, don't those, that apples, uh, doesn't it have to sit and putrefy, putrefy, is that a word? Putrefy and just uh, ferment. And I know fermented stuff is big today, but guess <laughs> that stuff is rotten. I don't, I don't do that, uh, What's that stuff that's big? Tell me what's that fermented stuff that everybody's doing all. Uh, what is it? Somebody Kim knows kimchi. out there. Kimchi and all that. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That ain't for me. That ain't for me. Uh-uh. You cannot go wrong with the lemon. And I just got, my aunt just bought me some lemon trees, so I'm trying to grow my own too. Like, share, follow, like, share, follow. Tap the screen. Like, share, kombucha. Ugh. That's it. Ugh. Yeah. No, no, not for me, not for me. Like, share, follow. Okay, this is one way to cleanse. Now, another way to cleanse, we're gonna put my good, look at this, y'all. Some maple syrup. 
That's a gallon. It's the good stuff. How often do you do this? I try to do this three times a year. Yeah. yeah. I really try to do it. Every quarter is good. You know, like you do your spring cleaning? For sure, you need to be doing that with your body. Spring cleaning your body. Like, share, follow. Like, share, follow. We're just getting started here. All right? So, another thing that we do, but we do this almost every day. So, we're constantly cleansing. We're constantly putting nutrients in our body. Hey, we are constantly. I ought to bring my aunt on here, too. She, she has a lot of information for y'all. So much information. This right here. Do you see this, baby? Recipe again. I, recipe. Get you a quart jar. Like, share, follow. Like, share, follow. All right. We up, we up to 4,000. Come on. Let's get these likes up. Let's share. We got about 400 viewers now. Like, share, follow. This quart size jar. One lemon juice. Two tablespoons of maple syrup. Am I going too fast? I agree with Dr. C. I totally agree. Is sea moss good for you? I guess it's, it, I don't know. I really don't, I hear it is. But it's another one of those new things that we're doing like apple cider vinegar and kombucha and you know, I'm sticking with the guard diet today. Um, quart size jar, juice of a lemon, cayenne pepper, 90, the good stuff. The good stuff. 90 heat units. Hello, welcome. The people want to see you. At least show your face and say hi right quick. And then we're going, we got questions for you and your cleanse. We got questions. Hey, everybody. How's it going? What's up? Hey, Eli in the house. You better shut your mouth. That's good. <laughs> so, um, back to the recipe. Two tablespoons of maple syrup, the juice of a lemon, um, a little bit of cayenne, and if you are insulin resistant, you might not want to do the gravy maple syrup. You might want to do the black strap molasses. Here we go already. Here we go already, Mary. Yes, he fine. Yes, he fine. We're talking about cleansing today. We're going to tell you why he fine. This new start program and this cleansing that he's doing, that's why he fine. But don't you feel better? I feel amazing. It was, uh, Come on in. It was 21 days. And uh, I've never done a cleanse that long. And, you know, at first it was really tough because it starts off with a fast. It's three days with just water. Oh, okay. It's three days with just water. So I, it starts off, you know, a little bit difficult. And then you go straight from that into uh, juicing. And you're, you're not eating, you're not getting a lot of juice. You're, you're juicing twice a day. Mm. Um, but it just gave me time. It gave me a lot of time because I wasn't preparing food. I wasn't cooking. It gave me a lot of time to just think about life, um, focus on my family, focus on my prayers and things that I'm trying to, you know, get together for, you know, my future and um, connecting with God. It was just a great time mentally, uh, emotionally, and, and just to really dig deep as far as, you know, how I'm developing. And then after that, we got into raw food. And that was the last two weeks was all raw twice a day and it wasn't like it was very simple it was very you know just fruits in the morning you could make little dishes different types of fruit salads or dried uh fruit uh, certain types of dried fruits um, dried bananas things like that and then in the evening it would be salads so sometimes it'd be like a root salad like shredded carrot shredded beet shredded cabbage with just a light um you know raw type of dressing whether it be lemon juice or with some salt and things like that but Everything was very simple, and um, it was it was it was a challenge. But afterwards, I did feel like wow, like I I made it through. Um, you know, my my prayer life was stronger. My skin was I felt like my skin was a lot healthier. Yeah, yeah. Um, my digestion was better. My thinking was clearer, mm -hmm. um, and it made me learn a lot of different things that I could use that you know, uh, Veggie Vita teaches as well. But you know, as far as for a bachelor like myself, being able to use the dehydrator, use the spiralizer, and those are things that I'm gonna keep you know, going forward. Um, how important it is to soak a lot of the things that we soak in your nuts before you make cashew cheese and soak in your grains. And um, you know, I didn't do everything perfectly. Some things I didn't know about that I had to learn about. And you know, I think that's part of the journey. Uh, there's a community, you know, just like you guys, you know, there's a community of people that want to get healthier yes. in mind, spirit, and body. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I thought that was cool. And a lot of this is biblical, right? 
yeah, I would say if you're doing it right, all of it is biblical. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and I someone I just heard you mention uh, the sea moss and yeah. I was, you know, into sea moss for a little while, but I've taken a step back from it because there's certain things that the Bible says that are just, you know, every every tree, everything of the garden. Mm-hmm. You know, it says every nut, every fruit, every seed of the garden, and the leaves are for the healing of the nations. So I don't know if sea moss is good or, or not. I, I can't, I'm not a doctor and I haven't had enough experience. What I do know... You know about black seed, Bob, but we'll get to it. Keep going. Black, yeah, I, I do eat black seeds. Um, but what I do know is that, you know, the things that are good for you, aloe vera, um, you know, dark leafy vegetables, um, lots of fruits, healthy grains, there's an abundance of them. Drinking water. Uh, drinking water. We keep it simple here because yeah. a lot of, I'll let you, yeah, um, you, know, you go ahead. I'll let you get settled in. We keep, and I'm going to answer some of these questions. Yes. We keep it very simple here because we have found that they're just these fads that are going around. Yeah. Today it's apple cider vinegar. Tomorrow it'll be Irish moss. The next day it'll be kombucha. And, you know, these bandwagons, whatever it is, we don't get on them. We stick with Genesis 129. Mm-hmm. It's going to always be around. Um, all this other stuff you got to kind of make, right? Mm-hmm. The stuff we're talking about comes, like Eli said, from the ground, mm-hmm. from the garden, mm-hmm. right? All right, couple of questions. What type of juicer? This baby. <laughs> it was an investment, y'all, but you can save. <laughs> Stop eating out. Stop, you know, wasting money on other things and invest in your health. Mm-hmm. This juicer is the J2 Nama. <laughs> Nama for mama. <laughs> Nama for mama. It's great. It's great. And maybe if we have time, we'll put some things in here. But um, that's the type of juicer that somebody asked. Oh, how much cayenne? An eighth of a teaspoon is what I do. An eighth of a teaspoon. Mary. Mary, I got a bone to pick with you. You say you clean enough. Mary, there are ways to tell. There are ways to tell. You shouldn't have to wear deodorant, Mary. Mary, when you go to the bathroom, you shouldn't smell anything, Mary. Mary, are you really clean enough? <laughs> Mary, do that animal, girl. Don't be scared. <laughs> do it. <laughs> well. And that intimate thing, that may be another program we'll talk about and yeah. get a little, yeah. little bit more detail on, right. it, on it because really we do need to cleanse ourselves. And that's that's one thing. And I know a lot of people that's kind of uncomfortable to Misery. talk about, And but we'll, we'll have to get into that a little bit more. Like, share, follow, like, share, follow, follow. Come on. What are you scared of? Just, all right, then go to a, um, a spa. They'll do it mm-hmm. for you. Yeah. And like I said, there, there are teas that you can take. Um, smooth move this one and you'll be fine. Thank you. Thank you so much. Cassata I appreciate sagrada, it. We're, another one. Yes. What is it? <clears throat> Casada Sagrada. There you go. That is another, that's another one. one. It's just yeah. in case. Yeah. One. Psyllium hold. And just your diet. Like if you're eating well, you automatically cleanse, right? If you're getting a lot of fiber, right. you're cleansing on the daily. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you scream. <laughs> Why people so with the enemas? Like, why is this so foreign? This is old foreign. healing. This is that old school healing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Yes, one lemon, maple syrup, cayenne, pepper. Yes, that's it. That's it. But if you if you um, are insulin resistant or have diabetes, maybe you want to go with, with this. Check with your doctor. That's the disclaimer, too. Check with your doctor. Check with your doctor. That's some good stuff. It tastes like caramel. Mm-hmm. So, um... We're gonna we're gonna fix a little a little Eli. What you what we doing? Are we fixing you something raw? Are you are we gonna keep talking about the cleansing part? Um, we Did, can we can do. I'm I'm open to anything. What were you what were you thinking? What was the wheatgrass for? Is that, mm-hmm. That's a demonstration or something? No, no, we, no. no. Oh. we can put it away. Another cleanser though. This right here, if you juice it, you juice it. It's it's good for everything. Oh yeah, it's powerful. Everything. Mm-hmm. One eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne. One kind. What's your question? What's your question? One kind. Put it up there again. I can't. It's hard for me to see everything. Every question. Okay. 
Like, share, follow, like, share, follow. So let's talk about some of the benefits. So okay. let's just recap your particular um, detox cleanse. Mm -hmm. You started with water. Yes, water and enemas. I did forget about, and I don't know how I forgot about the enemas. This was my first time in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the world of enemas. And it was intense. I'm not gonna lie. It was an intense experience, <laughs> you know, as a brother, you know. And then I'll leave it at that. But it, you know, these days, colon health is so important, and uh, prostate health for men is so important. And ultimately, we got to get over some of these things as far as for health purposes. You know, we're not. You know, this is for health. This is you're taking care of your health. You're taking. You're being a man, and you're and you're being a woman. And you're being mature and taking care of your health. So, so um, you know, I, I did what I had to do. I handled it, and I was clean and mean and lean. Yeah. <laughs> look, 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 look. You felt better than Muhammad Ali in uh, One Night in Miami. I huh? did, you I did. You looked better, too. And, and hopefully, you know, we see. I mean, you know, he, he, he was an incredible athlete, an incredible specimen, as he said so himself many times. But ultimately, unhealthy life practices led to him leaving us far too soon. A, a career that was abusive on his body, mm -hmm. a diet that was uninformed with some of the things that we know now, um, you know, just a lifestyle of, of, you know, pushing himself to the limit over and over and over again, took one of the greatest specimens of human genetics and broke him down in 58 years or something like that. Wow. So you can see that there's no reason for that. You know, he should have been living into well into his 80s and 90s and be able to be there right. with his grandchildren. Um, and that's what we want. We want to be healthy and, and be able to live and see, live the best of life. Okay, I'm gonna answer some of these questions. So you said the water, then the animal. We gonna, we gonna go from there, yes. hold that thought, because yes. we wanna know what's next. But yes. Somebody wants to know with this master cleanse, why maple syrup, not honey? It's just the original recipe. Uh, maple syrup and honey both have um, minerals. Mm -hmm. I feel like the maple syrup is easier to dissolve, mm -hmm. right? So that's why we choose the, the maple syrup. Plus, it's the original recipe. That's just the original recipe. Um, brand of cayenne, 90,000 heat units. Frontier is the brand. Your health food store should have it. Um, is chemotherapy bad? Um, we don't really want to get into that. I personally... Yes, for me, that's not the path I would go down, right? That's not what I would choose. But I've never had cancer. So, you know, I'm sorry, I can't really answer that question. Mm -hmm. um, what are you, uh, Whole Foods, Amazon, you can buy it from there. I appreciate you. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. We glowing? <laughs> it's Jesus. It's the Jesus. He's the light of the world. He's the that's sun. The that's why we glowing. That's part of the But like I said, Right. The eight laws. The eight laws. The eight laws of health, okay? Hey, I don't know who that... Hey, Darlene, my girl. Good to see you. That's family right there. That's family. How much water? Just fill it up to the quart. It's a quart-sized jar. Um, somebody asked how much to drink. When you get hungry, you drink. Yeah. Sometimes I jug a half a gallon a day. Thank you so much. Is the enema from this drugstore. Uh, we didn't really show you the enema, but that's a good question. Um, talk to the people. I'm gonna go, yeah. I'm gonna go get a, a, a sample. Wow. So we don't, uh, with the cleanse that I was on, it wasn't the fleet enema. Um, and as I understand it, that one is not the, uh, the best one to use. It's kind of a, uh, it just has a different process and how it works. And I think there's some, some things in it that aren't necessarily 100% natural. So we want to be using the bag um enemas that have that you know that's just a bag it looks like those old water bottles that your grandmother would give you if you had the you know a fever or something mm -hmm. like that right. and uh it has a, a tube that comes out of it and an insertion part and uh, a hook to get you know get it above elevation so that it has the gravity and uh and you know it's uh you know you set up a situation where you're either in your tub or in your bathroom with some towels and you know it should be relatively clean as long as you follow the instructions uh, it's not as intense as you think it's going to be. Um, I hate bringing this to okay, my kitchen. Okay, here we go. Oh, she has actually a better one than me. So I hate her. bringing this to the kitchen, but inquire minds want to know. So, we have graduated from that pink thing hanging from the shower. You remember that? Years and years ago? That's how long I've been doing enemas. We have the stainless steel bucket. 
<laughs> he like get out of here. <laughs> this bucket, this bucket. Let me tell you, you can make this a wonderful experience. <laughs> what side do you lay on? Oh, I I rotate back, left, right. <laughs> We getting all the crevices. Maybe some folks don't know how to do it. Oh, I, mm -hmm. go look at my video. I have one kind of showing you. Um, just go watch the videos. Uh, Veggie Vita has one on how to do an enema. Yeah. yeah. So this is available on Amazon. <laughs> We're talking about pooping today, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry, but we got to do it. We got to do it. It's for our health. Like, share, follow, like, share, follow. We have about... 6,500 likes, let's go. Okay, so that's that. Um, I think I answered all the questions. So, toxins, like I said before, disease is really only because of two things. Write this down. Disease is really 99% of the time because of two things. Now, I'm not talking about what you're born with and stuff like that, right? I'm talking about lifestyle disease. It is simply just too many toxins in the body and not enough nutrients to feed the cells. Pretty much that's it. That's why we're getting sick. Can I put the back? Yeah. Amazon. I used to have a store, but then I just stopped. I just, it's just too much. So just go to Amazon. How many days? Well, it depends. Eli, come on back. Either, I, ask, I have a question. Yeah. Because I on see in. it on here. Tell me the difference between coffee enemas and just mm. what kind of enemas there are out there. Because yes. I was sticking with just the basic. Oh, right? me too. But I want to know me more too. about what me I've too. heard. Me too. Now, I've heard, oh, and my aunt needs to comment on that. I've heard and I've read that the coffee enemas really, really uh, detox the liver. Mm. Right? That's what I heard. And we want the liver to be that live or not right, you sick. Mm -hmm. However, I'm scared of caffeine. I'm mm -hmm. scared of the caffeine going direct, directly <laughs> in that way. Mm -hmm. So I just stick with plain old water. Mm -hmm. Simple, mm -hmm. plain old water, mm -hmm. you know? But if I did have to do anything with coffee, I wouldn't drink it. I would use it that way if, if you want to, but I just, I just Some water. folks recommend it. Some folks like the coffee in them. Some people say it's really, yeah, mm. it's Gerson, really good. Gerson. Gerson, yeah, the Gerson therapy. They use the coffee in them. So I would, I would also suggest, um, the, for me, what I like a little bit warm. I don't know if that's a healthy oh, thing, no, enough, yeah. but don't go cold. That's who no I never thought about that. Yeah. Just a little bit warm. People just, do cold enemas. Well, you just put no. the water and you don't know. And then you, you find out real quick. You want to uh-uh, uh-uh. It's yeah. just like washing dishes. You don't want to wash. <laughs> You're not clean with cold water. You got to use some warm water. I never thought about that, guys. I thought everybody just you know just yeah. knew you would use warm water, not too hot. Warm water. Yeah, just now warm, right? you can make this a whole spa situation. You know that, right? You could put some peppermint essential oil in that mm -hmm. water. Mm -hmm. You could do that. You light the candle. Mm -hmm. You know, put a nice fluffy towel down and a mm -hmm. pillow and just take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Take care of yourself. How many days? Sorry, I keep, how many days? Well, let's start with two. People who've never, I'm surprised for, for the one? first time for who the, did this whole thing. For this one? For the master cleanse, it's recommended 10. But I would say for any cleanse, mm -hmm. you gotta, if you've never cleansed, you might can only do one day. Yeah, that's true. You that's might true. can only do one day. So you have to start slow. Some of you guys might have to just start with one meal a day. Yeah. So it just depends on where you and are. People and know, you know your mentality. Like I'm the kind of guy. I'm. A, he Hollywood. He gonna go all I'm just, out. Yeah. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a oh, let's just do it. If we're gonna do it, let's just do it. So if I'm gonna fast, okay, I'm gonna do two days starting at least, and then build up on that. Um, but you know, not everybody. You know, that's not always the best approach. Sometimes you need to take time with your body. Soft music, candles, glass of wine. Okay. Well, let's leave out the, well non alcoholic. Wine. Non alcoholic. You can do grape juice. <laughs> but it's sugar in there. Yeah, you're right. You can't even do the grape juice. You can't do that. Well, just, you can't even do, uh, no, just water. Just water. We're cleansing. Yeah. Just hold off and cleanse. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. I do a Saturday Sunday because I'm around. I can do Saturday and Sunday because I'm not around the bathroom when I work. Yeah. Good. In fact, the weekend is a good time to start. I Didn't agree. you find? Because you you doing some stuff. You do heavy. Heavy work. Yes, yes. 
Um, you know what's interesting? I was doing pretty well up until literally the last day. On day 21, I got really tired at work. And, I, and that's how I knew, okay, I'm glad this is done because my body's telling me, all right, you're done. You, now you need to start to build up and get more nutrients, mm -hmm. get more calories. That's right. Uh, but up until that time, you know, you'd be surprised the process of autophagy, the process of your body recycling the damaged cells, mm -hmm. the fat cells, uh, using up all of the extra stuff that's just sitting around inside those of you. Those cancerous cells, the cancerous those cells, cells, the tumors, get out all of that here. stuff, your body starts to use that for energy because mm -hmm. it says, oh, that stuff is, let's get rid of that. Mm -hmm. and, and you'd be amazed so, the first week or two. You'll have some days where you're thinking, man, I'm not even hungry. I actually feel more energy right now. Yes. Um, you know, and some days you get a little bit lightheaded or a little bit tired. Then you just drink some more water. Mm -hmm. I used to add a little bit of Celtic salt to my water just to, uh, I just find, yeah, just minerals, minerals. just to keep it, you know, there's no calories in that. And I don't use it that much. But if I was a little bit down, add a little bit of Celtic salt and that'll put my blood pressure up a bit. Now we're going into the benefits. That's something you said that he said that he sometimes didn't feel hungry. That's called the ghrelin effect mm -hmm. where you actually kind of balance people who eat all the time. Fasting will help balance that, right? Mm -hmm. You'll learn how to go without so much food mm -hmm. all the time, mm -hmm. right? So that's one of the benefits I want to talk about. But let's that's get right. back to um, also you train those taste buds. Yeah. You don't come off that fast wanting a burger. You shouldn't. You come off that fast like, right. ooh, that salad looks delicious. That's right. Ooh, can I have that smoothie or that fresh juice? That's right. So that's what fasting does too. Good transition into the healthy yes. lifestyle, eating, nutrition, diet. Absolutely. Nice right. transition into that. And, and don't fast and crash. That's what I used to do, and that's why I decided to do this 21-day cleanse as opposed to this extreme fasting because sometimes you can fast two or three days and then do more damage if you come back and just eat any and everything. It's better to do a, a shorter fast, maybe just one day, and transition off of it with juicing, transition mm -hmm. off of it with raw mm -hmm. food, mm -hmm. trans and then you know slowly get back into you know all the different foods, but make it more of a lifestyle change than just a, right. a diet or a fad or something right. you're just gonna try. Right, right, right. And we're talking here about a whole bunch of different fasts. I know I talked about mm -hmm. the master cleanse. That's Eli cool. has a really, Yours was really good because we, we stopped at mm -hmm. the water and the enema. What did you do next? So after that first three days, water and enema, man, you feel clean mm -hmm. in every way. Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, because you're drinking a lot of water. You're drinking, I was drinking uh, 64 ounces of water in the morning. And then throughout the day, I would drink four ounces every hour. So I was drinking a lot of water. I'm a big guy. I'm six foot two, you know, and, and not everyone's going to have the same amount, but... I was drinking a significant amount of water. After that, we went into the juices. And the juices were, if I remember correctly, there was carrot juice, beet juice, celery. Is that it? Carrot, beet, celery? Yeah, I think that was it. And then we also had, um, you know, uh, some fruit juices. I believe there was a, a cucumber, lemon. I have to check. I have to check. But we did, we did a significant amount of juicing for about three more days. And then you just get this, like, unbelievable energy because there's so many nutrients right. in that food i mean my i was i was talking to one of the other people that did the cleanse with me and i was like is it just me or am i is your vision getting better like things that i would look at that were blurry oh yeah now all of a sudden i'm looking at them the same distance and all of a sudden i can i can see it cl crystal clear mm -hmm. and uh and it was that fast within a week i saw a difference in my vision yeah. difference in my mental cognition remembering things Wow. You know, it was amazing just, just from juicing. Yeah. And we haven't even talked about the cognition. We focus in a lot on the physical, but it's a whole bunch of different yes, levels yes, in, in fasting. Yes. Uh, we haven't even talked about the spiritual. So, um, man, this is so interesting. I, I, I'm just so proud that you did it. Oh, man. Thank yeah. God. I, was, yeah. I wasn't. When they said 21 days, I, I thought, know. oh, man, 21 days. That's a long time. That's almost yeah. a month. Yeah. But the way they laid it out day by day, and if you prepare yourself, if you follow the program, and about halfway through, I got to say, Sister Keller and what? Elder Keller, <laughs> they helped me out because I had a weekend where I, <laughs> I, 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 met, I missed some of my prep, and I was just like, I was hungry, and I was not in a good mood. And she said, just, they both said, come on over. 
they'll help you out. And yeah. they, and they, and that's a good thing about having a community. Mm -hmm. If you guys can get together and have a cooking night, you can get together if you have a group of people even online and say, you know what, let's prepare our stuff together tonight. Mm -hmm. If we're going to be making our juice, let's make our juice. And, you know, if we have some common topic of conversation, maybe reading your Bible or whatever you're interested in, make it a community, make it a family, do it with, you know, your friends or someone like that and, and right. take that time to build a group because there's going to be days when you feel like a little bit weaker than others where you're tempted to break it and it helps having some people that are there to support all right okay quick questions vitamins uh we don't do vitamins when we're fasting and cleansing mm -hmm. I, I, we don't um should a beginner start with a water fast uh they could but they might have to do it one day mm -hmm. try one day water fast mm -hmm. some of you guys like i said it just depends on where you are some people can't miss a meal some people have never gone without eating three meals a day so you might have to start there and just do an OMAD, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Gym workout, probably not. Maybe a light walk. We do not recommend a hard gym workout when you're fasting. Um, your body will tell you too. Like mm -hmm. I've gone 16 days mm -hmm. on uh, the master cleanse and I felt amazing. Mm -hmm. And I transitioned into the raw diet. Um, there was, a, I remember having so much energy towards the end. Like I could run a marathon kind of energy. Mm -hmm. So you just have to listen to your body, right? Mm -hmm. um, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, so. But I will say, do some sort of physical activity. Mm -hmm. Don't just think, oh, I'm not eating. I'm just going to sit around, lay on the couch, watch Netflix. Or, you know, th that's actually going to make you more tired. It's going to yeah. make you have less energy. Get out. Go mm -hmm. for a walk. Rebound. Right. Rebound. Stretch. Rebound, stretch move mm -hmm. get your body active you know right. walk your dog or you know whatever you do that keeps you active but be physically active during that time yeah uh, yeah you know yeah. and now are you doing anything on um tick tock with this i know you instagram he's on instagram you guys if you want to follow him on yes. instagram yes. tell me instagram. Uh, at the real eli gore so that's at the real e-l-i-g-o-r-e-e -E. And um, yeah, we've been talking about it. There's a lot of posts throughout the 21 days that I put up there um, that you guys can check out. There was several people in the group that were going through it. And, and we're on there every night around seven o'clock, um, mm -hmm. you know, going through ministry and different types of things to just improve our lives and help us have a more better quality of life. Yes, you're welcome. You're very welcome. Um, did we go through the whole cleanse? with what you did so after the juicing uh okay. was, is when we finally were able to eat some actual food and again it was very simple what's what's wrong no so three day three days of the water enema yep then you went into three, fresh juice three days of fresh three juicing. days of fresh juicing so starting week two after the first week is just water fasting enema Ooh. enema and juicing where is this program found uh, if you follow, yeah. If you come on, if you guys uh, message me at uh, at the real Eli Gore, I can give you guys all the information. We will be doing it again. I don't know if I'll be doing it right away because I just finished, <laughs> but there will be a group doing it again. And your email. Oh, and uh, this is the last generation at gmail dot com. If you want to email me, um, that's a great you. way to get it to you as well and get you connected to the people who are uh, mm -hmm. who who run it. Yeah, um, it's a, if they do it ongoing they have groups that join my mom did it before me and and everyone that i know that's done it has loved it and just a little disclaimer you know if you're if you have hypertension or especially insulin resistance mm -hmm. diabetes type 2 any kind of health condition that you've been diagnosed with just work with your doctor mm -hmm. work with your doctor because Absolutely. i've seen where some people have to actually lower their dose of uh high insulin. blood pressure that too high blood pressure right. medication oh and the uh, diabetes medication. So just work with your doctor mm -hmm. um, and be smart about this. We, we want to do this intelligently. Yes, okay. exactly. And, and another thing that we also did was um, through that process, we were doing herbs, so laxative herbs, natural herbs that would help you have bowel movements, as well as psyllium husk, which you mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. um, to help, everything was about cleaning you inside and out. Cleaning and building. Um, and building you up after that. But um, as far as the food, we started off with just very simple shredded carrot, shredded beet, um, shredded cabbage salad. Then it started to get more uh, into some things that were a little more complicated after week two. Like our raw vegan pad thai. Like our raw vegan pad thai, which was amazing. Um, cauliflower rice with uh, cashew cheese. We did flaxseed crackers. Mm -hmm. 
um, rainbow uh, wraps with all kinds of different wraps in, in there uh, with different vegetables. Um, there was quite a few. There was there was avocado. Um, I think they had like a cold soup that they that we did. Um, there was a lot of recipes, and that was another blessing is that it tells you the recipes. It tells you what you what equipment you need. It walks you through how to make the instructions on how to make it. So. Mm -hmm. For me, like I said, as a bachelor, I was able to make some stuff. Where's the realtor from last week? She's on here. Um, God's playing realtor. Uh, check in with her. She's on here. She she's she's on here. So, our at, uh, inbox me if you really need to get a hold of her. If she's not on here. She's she's on here watching. Okay. Um, God's playing realtor. I had another. There was another question that I answered. My, oh, the colonic versus the enema. I mean, it's basically the same thing. Uh, it's basically the same thing, you know, right? What you I, I've never done a colonic. You the expert on like, that. I've, 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 okay, so what I find, what I find is when you go to the spas, they call it a colonic. Right. But it's the same thing. I haven't done one either. It's the same thing. It's using some kind of liquid, usually water, to clean out your intestines. And I think they do multiple sessions. Mm -hmm. And I, animals, you should do multiple sessions too. I'm not talking about mm -hmm. fleet. Mm, no. no, there she is. There's God's plans, realtor. Hey, Davin. Hey, there you go. Okay. Um, maybe you want to put your information up there, God's plan, so they can get in touch with you. All right. So yes. today you had you well. I know Friday was your last day. Friday was my last day, but I kept it going. That's yeah, one thing. I ended up making um, some guacamole, mm -hmm. having some celery. Um, and you know, really kind of making it nice and, and yes. adding a lot of things that I wanted in there, some tomatoes, some cilantro, some lime, some salt, and you know, but it was all raw. And, um, and with the celery and, uh, and then the, I can't remember what, uh, I made another raw meal. So I've been staying raw even after the. Mm -hmm. So he's staying raw, but I think the plan does transition you into a, uh, a cook, cook, cooking, right? Cook food? Yes. Sorry. So okay. then this morning I did have, um, oats. I just had a nice mm -hmm. bowl of oats with some raisins, some uh, coconut shred, shredded coconut in there. I, um, I've i been learning about soaking oats overnight before. So it's almost the same way people make overnight oats. Mm -hmm. um, so I made some basically overnight oats, but then uh, just warmed it up for about a half hour and then it cooks up a lot better, releases a lot of nutrients. Yeah. Uh, a lot and healthy and if you don't want to do oats, you can do uh, uh, flax and chia equal amounts mm -hmm. soak that in some almond milk mm -hmm. warm almond milk and, and put some chopped bananas and apples i mm -hmm. love that cereal that is so good little maple syrup so delicious so you just good. don't want to do grains so today is cooked for you first day of cooked with today's the, oats. the first day of cooked with the oats you yeah. know you cook beans right are you gonna do beans i'm definitely he feels great he just feel said great. he feels amazing yeah i feel really good I he feel feels really amazing good. So it's something to try, something to think about, you know, and take your time one day at a time. Mm -hmm. You know, if you've never fasted before, like I said, you might just want to start with one meal a day, mm -hmm. you know, or two meals a day. How about instant oats? I would stay away from instant oats. If you can, stay away from them. I mean, steel cut oats are so easily available. Oats don't take that long. If you soak them overnight, you can cook mm -hmm. them in 20, 20 minutes. So yeah, you're better off just getting some, some you know, how, how do they make it instant? They're either pre-cooking it, they're processing it, they're doing something to it mm -hmm. that's not. They're natural. removing a lot of fiber. They're removing fiber. They're doing they're doing different things to it that's going to make it less healthy for you. And yes. so, just like any food, you don't want any instant food. Right, food right, takes right. time. It takes you know love and attention to mm -hmm. make it to make it good for you. Right. Okay. I think that's that's just about it. But some of the benefits of fasting and detox and cleansing aids in weight loss because you get those ketones yes. going that uh, burn fat. Right? And right? Yeah. And then the yeah, HGH human growth hormone yes. is released. That's yes. that youth elixir. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. Um, it helps normalize insulin resistance. So people pe insulin sensitivity, I should say that. People with uh, hypertension and type mm -hmm. two diabetes, you can you can beat that. You can reverse it. Yeah, you can. You can reverse it. Um, what else do we have here? The ghrelin, which you talked about. You don't always feel hungry. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. you you train those taste buds. You want clean food now. You want to eat clean. That's right. And that's about it. That's about it. So guys, go ahead on and check out Eli's channel. Say it again. At the real Eli Gore, mm -hmm. and that's uh, that's on Instagram. And maybe next time we'll do some cooking with Eli. How about that? That'd if you do oats, you get them gluten free. 
Why did I think oats were automatically gluten free? Oats are gluten free, but they're often processed in the same factories as things that have gluten. And so it's good to get them gluten free if you're a celiac person, if you're very sensitive. You should get them gluten free because then they're just made in a separate place, completely separate. Mm -hmm. If you're not celiac, you probably don't have much to worry about if you're just a little sensitive. I'm a little sensitive to gluten and mm -hmm. I don't have any problems when I, you know, take it, take the time and cook them right. That's yes. another thing. Cooking things properly, taking the time Ooh. to cook things makes a big difference in how sensitive you are. Especially with grains. You might want to get a little crock pot. Yep. Slow, put, cook. yeah. slow cooker crock pot and overnight just put it in there and in the morning you got your breakfast yep. you got a plan we're such a fast food that's huge society that's that the is. biggest thing with food planning and i'm learning that from you and elder keller you know the dehydrator you when you want to make a meal in a dehydrator you got to be thinking a uh, day uh, and a half a couple of days. days ahead yeah uh when you want to sprout you got to be thinking four or five days ahead i want to eat this on wednesday yes. and it's right. sunday so you know taking that time and it's nice to to have that connection with your food again, you know, mm -hmm. getting back to how it once was where people didn't just go and eat off of impulse. Yes. You ate off, you planned and yes. you made it a family thing, a community yes. thing. Yes, and you may have to turn off the TV yeah. because you know every other commercial is a food commercial yeah. and it's, it's tempting you to go out and get some fast food. Yeah. All right. Yes. Thank you. All right, guys. That's it for today. We're going to have them back on and maybe we'll Definitely. do like a raw yeah. meal or something. We'll figure it out. That'll be fun. Do something good. All right. Thank you so much. Like, share, follow. Thank you for following. Thank you for purchasing the coat, the, the course and the ebooks. We really appreciate you. And we hope that we are helping somebody out there. Hey, Eli, offer a word of prayer for us. Yes, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for just blessing us to come on here and um, allowing us to talk about food and your plan for our health. Uh, we ask that you just bless everybody that they would learn something today that they could apply to their life and that would better their lives and the lives of their family and those around them. Uh, we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bye, guys. Take care, guys. Happy healing. Okay. <laughs>